Good afternoon, and Jody, thank you so much for that introduction. I am very honored to be here with you this afternoon, and uh, certainly most of you know who BB&T is, large bank, uh, financial institution, <laughs> located in Winston-Salem. Uh, we've got about 1,800 locations, 33,000 associates, um, so a large group of individuals who come together and yet still remain very proud of our roots, our heritage as an East Carolina farm bank that started 140 years ago. Our associates definitely represent who and what BB&T is, an organization that is values-based, defined by those values of honesty, integrity, reality, reason, justice, productivity, independent thinking, teamwork, self-esteem, and pride. So what's the connection between a bank and education and leadership development? Well, we have a strong belief that our competitive advantage lies largely within the minds of our associates. Um, it's their brain power. It is those individuals who drive us forward and help us to achieve our vision of being the best of the best and accomplishing a mission that supports a mutually beneficial relationship, not just with our clients and our shareholders, certainly important groups, but our associates and the communities in which we work. So let's think about a couple of those shareholder groups or those stakeholder groups, one certainly being our associates and a commitment that we make to them which is creating a place where our associates can learn, grow, and be fulfilled in their work. And that's similar to the commitment that you make to your students, creating that environment where they can be successful. Because to us, leadership isn't something that just happens. It takes people to make it happen. And we define leadership as the art of creating an environment in which our associates are motivated to pursue organizational goals and strategies in a manner that's consistent with our beliefs and values. So what that means is, and it's kind of in the semantics, but leaders don't motivate others. We create a place where they are motivated, where their motivational needs can be met. And you look at a student like Shamari and see how you have had an environment in which you could be motivated and what's happened. So it, it's almost magical when it, when it all comes together and it all starts with a good, strong leader. So do leaders just show up? Are they born? Um, can they be trained? The answer for us is a strong, resounding yes. Leaders are developed. And we do that internally through our training and development organization, bb and University. Um, some of our signature programs include our leadership development program, targets college graduates, and helps them take that big, broad business background and translate it down into, here's a job that I'm going to do, and I have the potential to be very successful in a career. To our bb and banking school, which kind of does the opposite, takes a mid-level, high-potential individual who knows their job very well and exposes them to the industry, exposes them to the organization and to what their future can be. And then also a focus on those who are managing leaders, the people every day who, who have chosen to lead. How do we equip them to be successful? And that's our leadership curriculum, focusing on emerging and tactical and strategic leaders and equipping them to be successful. So our goals around talent management, how do we figure out who these people are, bring them in, develop them, engage and retain talent. And where does that talent come from? Well, that's another shareholder group or stakeholder group, our communities, um, and another commitment in making those communities a better place to be. BB&T has had a strong relationship in our community with the NCNSP for many years, probably about eight years to be exact. Um, came in in an early informational session several years ago, and we're really drawn to that work because it was the only entity in, at, that we knew of in the state um, that focused on driving innovation and creativity at the high school level. Because of BB&T's strong passion and commitment to learning and education and the compelling mission of NCNSP, we knew very early on we wanted to, important, we wanted to support the important work of your organization. So our first financial support um, was designated to um, uh, support an advocacy program designed to educate and inform citizens of North Carolina regarding the strong need to transform high schools to better prepare our students for the demands of our new economy. But then that leads us to today, um, to the Summer Institute and then on to LEAD 2012. Our most recent financial support is targeted toward leadership. And you can see the significant value that we place on leadership within the organization 
well, this is placed on the value that you bring um, as principals, as leaders in your schools. And we are very excited about this opportunity to help enrich the quality of leaders in our public schools. We already have great leaders throughout the state, and we do look forward to a partnership that's going to continue to move North Carolina closer to being a model for all states in the terms of quality of education at the high school level. So it said choice. You made a choice to be a leader, and I made that choice at one point in my career. Um, and a little bit about my personal journey. I grew up in a very small town in southern Colorado, went to college, changed my major three times in college, couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. Um, and I call myself an accidental banker. It was not intentional. It's a little scary, though, that part of my job now is career development. So I'm trying to guide others <laughs> in, the, in their career choices. But anymore, the, the career that you look at takes a lot of different twists and turns. And that's why instead of looking at our career ladder, now we call it the career lattice. Because there are just as many sideways moves as there are moving ahead. Uh, but as long as you continue in that direction that's going to make you energized, that's the direction that you need to go. So lesson learned for me, um, I came to bb and through a merger. And uh, going through a merger can be a scary thing. I have worked for, in my career, four banks, 13 different names. You probably banked with some of them at some point in time. <laughs> but you recognize that change is not something to be fearful of. Change is that energy that drives us forward. Um, embracing change is, is critical to being successful. And when you think about it, the opportunity to be, so, be part of something new, like what you're doing, is something that you've got to seize, that you don't want to let it pass you by. It's an opportunity to challenge the status quo, to innovate. It's much more motivating than any tangible reward. So as leaders, I would say that we create the future, and then we arrive early. The greatest accomplishment is having followers who trust us enough to come along. So I am very thankful and appreciative to follow a few steps with you and your journey this week. Um, bb and support of NCNSP is a truly strategic partnership. The students you are educating and molding today will be our future workforce, and we appreciate the significant contribution that you make. Your success is our success as we work to make the world a better place, one associate and one student at a time. Thank you.